What's up guys, this is Andy here with Ultima Eye Device Vids, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a new city of tweak called Meteor. This will display your current weather conditions directly on top of the weather application and in the status bar as you can see. And also notice that on the weather icon, the title of the app is renamed to the current condition. And this tweak looks very native, it looks like it's, you know, a part of iOS, as you can see there how the icon still retains that Apple design language. And again, it just looks like it would fit in right where it is. Now, of course, there's various options to configure inside of the settings application for Meteor. So of course, up at the top, we have the ability to enable or disable the tweak, as you can see right here. Then we have the configure locations button. This basically just will prompt you to open up the weather app, as you can see, because everything is done through the weather app. Basically, how this tweak works is uh, the weather that it's going to display in the status bar and on the icon is basically just the first uh, weather location that you have in the app. So you could just rearrange them in there, but I'm just going to leave mine set to where it is right now. Then we have the update interval. This is basically how frequent the tweak will check for new weather. If you could have it at five minutes all the way to four hours. Then of course we have use local weather. Make sure that's on just so it gives you your current weather conditions. Then you have weather icon and replace icon text. Weather icons, just the icon portion of the tweak. And of course you could have it so it replaces the icon text as I mentioned earlier. Then we have the configure status bar section. This basically contains various options that pertain to the status bar. So of course we have the status bar temperature itself. You can configure whether it's on the left or the right side of the status bar. And then there's the display temperature unit, which is basically Fahrenheit or Celsius. Then we have status bar condition, which is basically that little icon up there. In this case, it's the sun indicating the condition. You could also configure the position of that from left to right, just like you could with the other option. Now that pretty much wraps up the status bar section of the tweak. And also in, at the bottom of the preferences, of course, you could respring your device, which is required to make sure all the changes do take an effect. Then at the bottom, you could go to the developer's Twitter, email him or donate through PayPal. But we're just going to go ahead and restart our springboard to apply all the changes. So in conclusion, this is a really good looking tweak. Again, it just looks like it could be built right into stock iOS. And I could definitely see Apple implementing something like this in the future. And by the way, it doesn't actually affect the weather app itself. It just affects the app icon and of course the status bar but the actual weather app itself functions the exact way that it normally does this is available for $1.99 in Cydia let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section and if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos on Cydia tweaks and jailbreak coverage thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out